guys, it's Halsey Bella here with Athena Cause, and today we'll be teaching you how to make these guys right here. Here are some photos of me in cosplay wearing the fangs that I made. I used about six beads to make these little tiny fangs, but if you want them to be any bigger, you can just use as many thermoplastic beads as you need. I taught Athena how to make these today, and so now I have a good tutorial for you guys. All you need is most importantly these thermoplastic moldable beads. I got mine off of Amazon and you need a bowl of almost boiling water, you can just put it in the microwave, and a spoon. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, and now we wait. Bowl. Yeah, I need to microwave this a little bit longer. If the water does cool off while you're doing this, which may happen because it can take quite a few times on the first run, you can just microwave it again. If it's a microwave safe bowl. Cancel house. <laughs> <laughs> she destroyed my bowl. <laughs> I put a bunch of in there just to demonstrate what it'll look like, but once it's hot enough, you'll see it's clear like this. It will also be moldable. The water might be really hot, so be careful. I'm gonna take this tooth out and show y'all how I did it. I started by drying off my tooth so that the plastic would adhere better and then I pushed the plastic over my front tooth, molded it to about the shape that I wanted, and in the back I molded it around the surrounding teeth as well. Oh, that was way easier than mine. <laughs> I've had plastic. And now we wait. Once it's a little bit more firm, you can kind of bite down and that way it'll be easier for you to talk and just have a normal resting mouth, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can see it super well, but here's kind of what it looks like on the inside. You can see the indentation of where my bottom teeth hit it. Yeah, should look something like that. All right, it took about 10 minutes for this top tooth to completely dry, and while it was, I made these, these bottom teeth. They were a lot harder. And while this was waiting to dry, once it was almost dry, I wiggled it around a little bit just so it wouldn't be so stuck to the tooth that it was impossible to get off. One more thing, if it doesn't quite match the shade of your teeth, I think you can dye it with tea or coffee. Do you want to show our teeth? Yay! I used the same method to make my orc tusks seen here. The only difference is that I they're so heavy that I had to treat them like a retainer where they were connected by like a big piece of thermoplastic in the back here. And then I also use it to cover this little gap in my teeth if I have a cosplay where I just want them to look like they have smooth straight teeth. If you want, I can show a tutorial on that in the future as well. Thanks, bye! I don't even know how to start and be entertaining. I'm just gonna do it. What's up YouTube? No. <laughs> Just do like a 2013 YouTube intro. What's up, What's up you guys? <laughs> What's up, you You should give your fans like that. Like, like your fans a name. Wait, what? Say that again? Like the giving your fans a name. Like, what's up? What's up, Halsey Bellers? <laughs> <laughs> the Bellers. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna start a fan club now called the Halsey Bellers. You're me. I'm commenting it on all your videos <laughs> until it catches on. I will shut you down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> okay. That's how you know they're moldable. I'm the chef. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I didn't know there was a stand on the back. <laughs> <laughs>